been on a bit of a mission recently to find the best way to fix floating shelves. If you look on YouTube, a lot of people make these frames and housings, which is fine if you've got the space and the tools and the patience and the skill. But in my case, I just needed something quick and easy that I didn't want to mess around with. The shelf behind me previously, I bought floating shelves from a shop because I thought it would be the quickest and easiest way to do it. But then they didn't last very long. So I came across these fixing brackets on Amazon and it's just basically a screw that goes into the wall and then a piece of metal that you slide a bit of wood on with two holes. I thought it can't be that easy, can it? So the wood for these shelves is just an old scrap piece that I had lying around. I measured the length that I needed it and cut it with my miter saw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can just as easily use a hand saw to cut these down. Next up was to drill two holes for the brackets to go into. I used a square to make sure these went in straight, but if you've got a pillar drill, then that makes it life a little bit easier. Next up was sanding down the wood to smooth it out and make sure I had a nice, clean finish. So it's just occurred to me that I probably couldn't have picked a worse piece of wood for these shelves. The pieces that I've got were just off cuts that I had. And they're covered in knots. Normally that's not a problem when they're smooth, but in this case, there's some pretty deep ones. And the problem with that is that when you paint over the top, you're not gonna get a nice smooth edge. You're gonna seal the lumps and bumps in here, um, especially if this is the front edge. So what I'm gonna do is fill these in with some filler and then sand it back level to the faces and then it won't show when it, once it's painted. The type of filler I'm gonna use in these is just gonna be a standard trade wall filler. Um, you can use polyfiller, you can use any, any type really. I'll put a link to some that I'd recommend down in the description for you to use. Once all these knots and divots are filled in, I'm going to use this knotting solution. This is an old one that I've got in my toolbox, but I'll put a link down in the description to one that you can buy yourself. And what this does is it puts a thin layer over the top of these knots to stop them seeping out resin and staining the white paint once that's on you'll sometimes see when something's been painted with a white paint and this hasn't been put on, uh, the knots over time release this resin which will stain the paint and leave these brown circles over your nice white paintwork, which we don't want. I'm just gonna paint these shelves white and for that I'm gonna use my tried and tested formula of a water-based combined primer and undercoat and a water-based white top coat. Uh, I'll put links to these in the descriptions or an equivalent of where you can get some. Um, I like using water-based ones because it's so much easier for just clean up. You can just wash your brushes under the tap and the, and the job's done. The whole reason I'm making these showers is to replace these cheap and nasty ones I put up a while ago. At the time I thought it'd be quicker just to buy something off the shelf, pre-made, but then not long after they went up, so this one is like inside one of these. It's just hollow. And then this goes on the wall. It goes in there. But you can see once it's in, it just rattles around. We can do better than this. So I measured out where the holes need to be on the wall and I used a spirit level to make sure that the holes were level. So I was just about to drill this hole and found out the end of my bit is bent. See that wobble? Okay, it's a few days later and I'm back with a new drill bit that I ordered online. This one lasts two times longer apparently. I got high hopes because the first time I put these shelves up, I burnt out two drill bits and one of them, the end glowed so red, the tip fell out and landed on my carpet and burnt a hole. So I'm hoping with this one, which is new and extreme, that it's gonna actually get through it a bit easier. I'm also gonna be using my mains power drill. The reason I'm gonna use this one is because it's just got a bit more guts and a battery operated, and this wall behind me is solid and uh, takes some getting through. Not really looking forward to this bit, but we'll see how it goes. Once you have your holes drilled, uh, the kit comes with this wall plug that goes in the hole. It comes with a washer that you put on the screw. And this screws in the wall. And it's got these, these flat areas here that you can put a spanner onto, or a wrench, and uh, tighten it up. 
to get a nice tight fit. The best thing about it is it's off centered there, so once it's in place, you've got this fine adjustment to make it line up or level it up if you need it to, which is pretty cool. We'll see how it goes. Here I'm lining up the shelf with the rods in the wall, uh, but it didn't fit exactly, so I took it off, uh, readjusted it, and then tried again, and it was perfect. <coughs> I was a bit unsure whether it would be an issue that you can actually fix the shelves onto those brackets, but once it's on, it's, it's solid, like I, I can't pull it off. I'm probably gonna struggle, and I do need to pull it off one day. Maybe I'll just leave it there forever. Well, we made it to the end, and that was much quicker than most of my other videos take. That was too easy. You literally drill a hole in the wall, and you drill a hole in a bit of wood, and then you push the bit of wood onto that. And the unsung hero of all of this was this drill bit. I think I learned from this that um, having a really decent drill bit makes life so much easier. I've previously just bought kits and with various sizes, and even though some of them have been the big names, they've not always been that great and they might have burnt out after a while, but using a brand new bit, especially on a big hole in the brick wall, um, that just made my life so much easier. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for this one too. So that's it, thanks for joining me to the end. If you've made it this far, then you obviously enjoyed it, so give me a thumbs up, that really helped me out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.